guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have filmed this peachy spring, fun, full cut crease, slightly colourful makeup look for you. So I hope you guys like the look of it. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down below so you can see all of my other videos in the future as well. So the first thing I've done is do my eyebrows using my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow. This is in the shade Ash Brown. And then I've carved them out using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour Custard. Now I'm just going to prime my lids using the same concealer. Next I'm going to take my Makeup Forever, what's this called, HD powder um, just to set my lids. So the first thing I'm going to do is take Peach Smoothie, which is an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, on a MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. Next I'm going to take my Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette and I'm going to take this colour here which is called Seed. It's a really nice red, just a plain red and I'm going to run that through the crease and I'm just going to keep applying that slowly just to build up the colour as I want it then on the brush from before I'm just going to take a bit more peach smoothie to blend out the edges and ensure there are no harsh lines so because I want that red to be really visible uh, when we finish the makeup look, I don't want to blend it out too much or blend out too many other colours into the crease. So what I'm going to do is use a small um, definer brush by MAC. This is a MAC 214. Um, and I'm using Americano from Makeup Geek, which is a really dark brown. And I'm going to place that into the crease and then blend it out afterwards so that I can have a bit more precision. So I've literally just cut the crease with that, basically. Then I'm going to take a bit more of the red from Urban Decay and use it to blend that out. Then taking a clean 217, I'm just going to take a touch of the Americano and then blend it over the top. But I'm trying to be really, really precise with this. And then blending that out with a bit more of the red. And then lastly, taking some more peach smoothie to blend out the edges. So next I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the colour Chantilly. So the one we used before was Custard. And I'm going to use a really light one. Uh, this is the lightest one I do, I think. Because I want the eyeshadow to look really, really bright underneath it. And this is going to help. And I'm just taking a lip brush. This is a MAC 316, but you can use any sort of small stiff synthetic brush and I'm just taking some of the product and I'm going to use this to carve out my cut crease like that so the next thing I'm going to do is take my MAC 242 brush it's just a synthetic really thin brush and I'm going to take In the Spotlight which is a foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to use this all over the lid. Pretty. So you could leave it there, I mean these foiled eyeshadows are pretty impressive um, but I like to go that extra bit further. So I'm just taking the same brush that I just used and I'm just going to spray some Fix Plus on it. And then I'm just going to, not with any extra product or anything, I'm just going to sweep this and sort of press over the inner spotlight that's on the lid just to make it extra, 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 extra. Right, eyeliner. So I'm taking a MAC 266 brush, just any angle brush, and my MAC um, Black Track Fluid Line. And I'm just going to do a winged liner. So I've just done a really simple wing and I've cleaned it up using my Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara. I'm just using the 
benefit roller lash but we're going to be putting lashes on so to be honest it doesn't matter what mascara you apply I'm going to be putting on these these are the Ardell Wispies they're my favourite favourite lashes and they're so so cheap you can buy them for like a fiver literally and you can get them in Tesco's as well which I think is really useful <laughs> sun is in my eyes and it hurts Ooh. So I've put some glue on my lashes and while I'm waiting for them to go tacky, I'm just going to prime my skin. This is the Body Shop Wonder Blur Primer and I'm going to be using that today. I've really noticed a change in the weather and my skin <laughs> getting a bit more oily. So a primer this time of year, for me anyway, is really important. And while I'm doing my makeup, I always like to put a few coats of this on. This is the Burt's Bees ultra conditioning lip balm just to prep my lips for whatever I'm going to be doing with my lips that day. Mm. So I'm going to be mixing two foundations today, both from NARS. This is the NARS All Day or oh, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, always get that wrong, and the NARS Sheer Glow. This is in the colour Santa Fe Medium 2 and this is in light for Doville. So the reason I'm mixing the two is because I love the finish of these two mixed together. It gives like a really nice satiny finish because this one's really really matte and this one is quite dewy so it gives a beautiful finish if they're mixed together. But also my neck is a bit darker than my face. Not too much but my because my tan is fading but I do have a bit of fake tan on so I want to make sure that I colour match. And I'm just going to be apparently dropping everything and what is going on with this lap? So I'm just going to be applying those using my beauty blender. Why is my hair all everywhere today? I like dragging it down my neck too to blend it in, obviously. Oh, baby hair is the most annoying thing. What is this? What is that? Now that I look all pasty and one colour, two dimensional. So next I'm just going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, oh which I am severely running out of, yay, and I'm just going to take this under my eyes and then highlight my face with it. I don't want to get too close to my eyeliner. I have already tidied it up with the uh, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, so I don't want to get too close to that. This tape likes to take up the side of my nose as well because it helps with contouring later on. And then once I've done my concealer, I like to take the butt end of my beauty blender that had the foundation on and just use it to blend out the edges of where the lighter concealer meets the foundation, especially when I'm using um, a concealer shade that's a lot lighter than my foundation like I've done today it is a couple of shades lighter so I just like to make sure that it's blended in nicely then I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD powder and set my entire face with it so you don't have to set your entire face if you don't want to uh, if you don't have oily skin, then you might prefer a dewy foundation. And obviously, if you're using one of them, there's no point setting your face because it's just going to make it matte. But for me, I like a fairly matte finish. Um, so, eyes or face? Mm, let's go with face. Um, where's my contour kit? Where is my contour kit? I actually can't see my contour kit anywhere. Oh, there it is. So, fun fact, I'm about to use a brush that cost me £2 off Amazon. It's the best money I've ever spent. So, this brush right here 
It's really cheap, really plasticky. And it's really, really good for contouring with. Um, I bought it in like October last year to use with my, wait there. So yeah, I bought it in like October to use with my Mayron Clown White face paint for Halloween because I didn't want to wreck any of my brushes and then washed it and thought I would just use it for special effects makeup. Uh, used it with my contour because my brush, my normal brush was wet and never looked back. So yeah, very impressed with this. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, apologies for how filthy dirty is, and I'm gonna take this shade here. I have no idea which one this is. Could be, it's either Havana or Java. I wanna say it's Java, but don't quote me on that. It'll be listed in the description box below anyway, I will Google it. Um, so I'm taking that on my no name cheap brush and I'm gonna use this to contour my face with. And I've put way too much on already. Yay! Oh my god, what is happening to me today? When contour goes really wrong. So, because I've just put far too much on my face, I'm going to switch brushes. This is my MAC 168 and I'm going to use this to blend it out in the hope that it looks better. I mean, I know I want it to look bronzy, but Jesus Christ, this is too much. Oh dear, what is my life? That's a bit better. Right, I think I've got too much on this side. So I'm just going to take the butt end again of my beauty blender, just at this front part of where I've made a mishap, and blend it out slightly with that, and then go back in with the brush. One on one of how not to contour. Yay! So moral of the story here is: do not put too much on your brush, and always tap off the excess. I never do, because I'm too lazy. Oh my god, now I've just got contour kit all over my cream carpet. Yay! On the plus side, my eyes look nice. Yay! I need to stop saying yay, don't I? As I went so catastrophically wrong, I'm now going to have to bake under that. Oof! So I'm just taking some more powder and I'm just going to bake underneath my contour for a bit. Oh nice. I need to stop saying that as well. Not a scouser. Can't get away with it. So next on my Real Techniques base shadow brush, which I don't use for eyeshadow, I use it for one thing and one thing only and it's nose contour. It's the most perfect nose contouring brush ever. So I'm going to take a bit more of that, I think, Havana, could be Java, one of the two, shade. And I'm going to tap off the excess this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose. I can't get enough of contouring my nose. So, next, I'm just going to wipe away that uh, powder with, this is my Zoeva Luxe Highlight 105 brush. So, I was going to bronze my face, but in all honesty, I feel like I've got enough contour powder on, and it would just look ridiculous, so I'm not going to. So, next I'm going to finish off my under eyes, and I'm just going to take that, um, the MAC. 214 brush with a bit of Americano and I'm just going to run that under the lower lash line. And I'm just going to take the brush that had the red on it, I'm not going to put any extra product on but I'm just going to blend up the edges. Then I'm going to take some mascara and just put that on my bottom lashes. I am not good at bottom lash mascara, it's, it, this is actually like a thing. Right, that's the eyes done. 
I'm just gonna put some more of that moisturizer on again. My lips feel really dry today. So next I'm gonna highlight my face and I'm gonna take the Sleek Solstice palette. And it looks like this, it's very nice. I'll take that out because I don't need it. Um, I'm gonna take this one up here, which is like a cream, cream highlight, just on my fourth finger. I'm just gonna dot that along my cheekbone. And then I'm gonna use my middle finger to blend it in a bit. Pretty. And then to go with the whole peach theme, I'm gonna take the peachy one. I don't know what they're called. They do have names on the back, but I can't remember which one is which. So I'm gonna take this sort of um, orangey peachy one and highlight with that. This brush I'm using is my MAC um, 224 brush. Really good uh, brush for blending out your eye makeup, but I like to use it for highlight nowadays. Then I'm just gonna take some down the center of my nose really lightly. And on my cupid's bone. So for lips, I'm gonna go with a peachy theme, tying in with this. Three guesses what the title of this video is gonna be. Well, you'll have already seen it, but still. Um, so I'm gonna use this combo here. This is Max Lip Liner in Fruit Cocktail, and this is the NYX um, Lingerie in Lace Detail 03. So obviously that's a bit bright, let's face it. So that's where the nude liquid lipstick comes in. Still quite bright, but I've got to say I love it. Why is my eye watering so much? So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click on all my social media links down below and follow me there as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all the usual blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.